All right, guys, let's continue to talk about why Trips tight end is one of the best offenses in Madden 23, especially if you are a person that wants to run some kind of spread out style of set. You don't want to run compression. You don't want to run bunch. You don't want to run tight. Why is Trips really, I think, the best option for anyone in that boat? And it's really for a couple different reasons, right? The spacing of the field and the fact that the routes can actually attack every area of the field with actually relatively simple uh, adjustments. So uh, with that in mind, I'm going to show you one of my personal favorite plays uh, in trips tight end today, and that is to play PA slot corner. Another thing that's really powerful about trips tight end is the fact that it has play action. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things with this. We're actually going to bring doubles and sail onto the field as well, and uh, we're going to talk about flooding concepts to the sideline. Uh, I think this is a critical piece in any offense you run, you need to have something that is good for flooding zones. And this particular concept, if you take a look here, we talked yesterday about this idea of slant post. If you look at where the tight end gets on the field when he runs his route across the formation, you're gonna see he gets to about the 50. So about 20, 20-ish 20 yards. If you know anything about zones in Madden, one of the best zones to actually take this away is a backed off cloud. It doesn't have to be a zone drop cloud, just a simple backed off cloud typically will do the job. So what you'll see here, especially the wide side, you see how right there he did vacate it, but a lot of times he'll sit on it, especially if this is to the short side of the field. So the point is different attacking different depths of the sideline is actually really good because if you're constantly attacking the 25 yard depth or the 30 yard depth or the 15 yard depth, then what can happen is they can just get into zone drops and it makes it very challenging. Another thing is there are certain there are significant differences between how routes work from the wide side or from the short side. So in this example, we have our trips to the wide side of the field, and it's going to allow this corner route to run a little deeper down the sideline. All right. So uh, another thing is in Madden 23, one of the things we know is that corner routes are one of the best ways to attack main coverage. So what I like to do with this play, and there's different ways, there's different ways to run flood concepts. For example, if I did this right here, this is considered a flood concept. The problem is if you watch this press man to man, the beauty of trip side in is actually doesn't happen as much as it happens in other formations, but they don't run into each other. That is something that is so underrated. Like, let me show you what I'm, let me show you what I mean. If I go over here to doubles flex, this is why trip side in is the best way to run spread formations, in my opinion. If I go over something like this and I try to do the same exact thing that I just did, watch this corner out. They run into each other more times than not. As you see there, they get muddied up and it just doesn't, it just, it doesn't give you clean separation. That's a problem in my, uh, in my experience. That's, that's, that's a literal problem. If you have routes running into one another, it is a significant challenge. Um, and I'll show you one other thing with this, with this double set. So let's say that we did this. Uh, you know, something like this, especially if this receiver is back, if, the, is, if he's the, if he's not on the line of scrimmage, you see this a lot more where like literally you throw this corner out. Look how, look how covered that looks. Like it's not clean separation because there's three people in the, there's three people in the, in the area, right? What trips does a really nice job of is because of the spacing, you can run a corner route to Michael Irvin, for example, and then let's say, you know, we want to run, it doesn't really matter to me, but whatever you want to run to Christian Kirk, and then you have a corner route to Julian Evan. The beauty of this corner route is it won't, it has clean separation. There's no chance of that player bailing off that route and coming to the corner route because of the spacing in the formation, even more so if you motion. Um, so if I motion, watch what happens with this. You're going to notice here that now the number two steps onto the line of scrimmage and you see here that we get even more clean separation to the sideline against main coverage. It's a very underrated piece of why trips tight end is super, super good. Okay, uh, very, very underrated in my opinion. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about a couple other things with flood concepts and how to uh, really flood zones well. Uh, and and that for this conversation we need to jump into match. So for match coverage, um, if you do something like this. Okay, if you watch how this plays against match coverage, it plays pretty good. Like, and I don't know why my guy ran his route weird on the left side. Sometimes that happens. Again, this is why I think, I, I do think that having this receiver out here can sometimes be a hindrance. 
Um, and the way you get around it is through motion, which we'll get to in a second. But against match coverage, if you watch here, look how clean separation-wise that is. And that's traditional cover four quarters, right? That's traditional cover four quarters. The beauty of this is it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of how you can flood zones. Um, because you have three receivers on one side. I think trips is generally speaking, you know, one of the better ways to attack coverage this year. Another thing that is super uh, good about flood flood concepts to this left side here is it doesn't just have to be Julian Edelman. So we could do something like this. This is still technically a flood concept. But if you watch again, because of where the spacing is, you see that one's not as good against match coverage. Why is that one not as good? A couple different reasons. Um, one of the reasons is just the simple fact that they run into each other. Spacing matters is all I'm trying to show you. Okay. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about what how do you flood uh, in terms of the flat. So we're going to just show you um, this simple concept here where we're going to streak Christian Kirk, we're going to out route Michael Irvin, and we're going to snap him like right in basically on the trip side. So you see your same side motion snap him. You see this actually beats man coverage sometimes as you see the man coverage can just get lost. And it attacks that left side flat. Now, the question is, and we're just going to time it for sake of illustration here. What attacks the flat faster? A drag from the tight end or a motioned in out route from the outside trips receiver? So if we just go snap the ball, you see here, if you time it, really the drag, it's almost identical, but the drag to just attacks the flat better. So what this tells me from a... Uh, when I'm trying to put route combos on the field, right, um, is, is this basic principle that I know my I can either put this guy on the out and I can and do it like that. Or if I did something like this, and this is maybe a better example, you'll see here they're going to be a little bit quasi timing wise decently close. OK, so what this basically means for me is how do I want to attack zone? Well, really, a flood concept is having a streak, a corner and a flat of some type. And it can come in a lot of different ways, shapes and sizes. But what I like to do here is streaking this number two receiver. That's going to continue to give me clear, 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 uh, clear outs, uh, which I think is super important. I like to recorner this guy uh, this year, but you, you don't have to do that. And then, and then we're going to have a motion slant because we know motion slants are really good against man. And so what we're going to do is we're going to snap this guy all the way across the formation here. And it's going to create just incredible spacing to flood zones. You see that slant comes into a really nice pocket. You have the corner route over there. And so now we get into an example. Uh, we get into this game uh, of basically attacking depths. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we're attacking depth on the field. So if you look where he runs his route, he's at the 40. Remember that tight end post was about right in here. Now he's 10 yards behind it. So if they try to play like that traditional cover two, because they're trying to attack uh, or they're trying to defend our, our, uh, our tight end post route, right? If they try to defend that, well, if they try to defend that tight end post with that traditional cover two, where they're just backing off this cloud flat, you're going to notice here that this, this corner route is going to run deep enough you see it runs deep enough to get over the top of that zone, all right? So super, super, super good little play here. Uh, I could talk about trips that in forever. Um, it surely is my favorite formation. I do a ton of breakdown in our Patreon on this. We actually have a, a, a completely free ebook as well. You can get that in the description that teaches the five-step passing system that basically every pro player utilizes to build route combos. It's what are the five core route combos you need to have in any effective offense. We teach that in our five-step passing system. You can get that in the description. But if you want to get my entire Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is going to be in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.